Și discutăm, doamnelor și domnilor, despre microplasticele care au fost găsite peste tot de cercetători, de la vârful muntelui Everest până în groapa Marianelor, în gheața arctică, în corpurile animalelor, chiar și în plămânii oamenilor. Cea mai mare parte însă a deșeurilor plastice se află în oceane. Ce înseamnă însă acest lucru pentru sănătatea vieții marine, pentru sănătatea noastră? Cum afectează ecosistemul și schimbările climatice? Este întrebarea la care încearcă să răspundă profesorii de la Universitatea Virginia Tech. Dan Stilwell, profesor de inginerie Electric a construit mai mulți roboți marini care coboară la mare adâncime și încearcă să culeagă date despre cum arată fundul oceanelor în acest moment și câte deșeuri plastice există în acest moment acolo. Microbit is microplastic sampling in aquatic settings using underwater robots. And so we've developed a, a microplastic sampling system that can be integrated Uh, with an autonomous underwater vehicle, and it will be deployed for the first time locally in a lake near uh, the Virginia Tech campus in southwestern Virginia in about two weeks. So we are interested in sampling around uh, events such as what happens after a storm would microplastics, no, a hypothesis might be microplastics would be lifted up off of the seafloor and they might be transported somewhere. So we would like to be able to sample during the storm or immediately after the storm, uh, where that, that would be not so difficult for an underwater robot, but prohibitively uh, difficult and unsafe for a human. Why do we need these robots to see what is happening in the ocean? Well, uh, uh, the robots we've been developing and using mostly go to 500 meters deep. And, and there's a, lots of reasons to go that deep that gets you up to the uh, most, it gets you out to the continental margin. So at 500 meters, we can get out to that, that margin mostly. We are also building robots that go much deeper. So we have, we're building a robot now that can go to 6,000 meters. Uh, and that will, that will get to the bottom of the ocean for most of the planet. Professor, uh, millions of animals are killed uh, by plastics every year. Uh, can you tell us how dangerous are mycoplastics for uh, animals? And I understand also humans because uh, doctors found microplastics also in humans. Yeah, that's true. Every place they've looked, they found microplastics. So the, the, I think the answer is we, we don't know yet. So where our research aims to better understand the fate of microplastics in the environment, In parallel, other researchers are seeking to quantify the health effects of environmental microplastics to both humans and non-human animals. So I think, I think we have a ways to go to fully understand what the consequences of microplastics are. Professor, uh, why do we know more about the surface of Mars than the bottom of our uh, own oceans? Why is so hard to map uh, the Earth's oceans? Yeah, that's a that's a fantastic question, uh, and, and and really an interesting. Uh, it's it's really interesting. So not not only is it well known that we have better maps of Mars and the Moon than we do of our own oceans, but it turns out, in my understanding, is we have better maps of Venus than we do of our own oceans, and it's really a physics question. So in the case of Mars, we've have we've had orbital surveyors for, you know, well over a decade, uh, traveling around the planet using cameras and radar uh, to get high, to develop high-resolution high maps. In the ocean, none of that works. So cameras don't work, you know, will only go a few meters. Uh, radar doesn't work at all. So we need to use sound. So, uh, and, and if we're using sonar or sound from a ship that has to reach 6,000 uh, meters to the seafloor below, uh, we, we're not going to see much in any detail. And so we do have maps of our own oceans, but the detail is very low. And so um, th there are ongoing efforts to uh, develop better maps. Uh, and, and that's some of the things that we do in our group, which is to use teams of underwater robots to survey large areas quickly. Um, but it's a slow process. Most of our water, most of our planet is covered in water and water makes the mapping problem really hard. 